A team of four seniors from Brentwood Academy built this robot. The, the controller is almost basically like a game controller. Every, all the buttons are the same and everything. Each member of the team has a job. I helped build the robot and I also just help with repairs. I'm the programmer. I basically did anything that involved the computer. I'm one of the builders. I'm also the strategist. I built the robot and helped repair it as well. Brady Williams, Rand Johnson, Nico Amatrano, and Jeff Hughes are the creators of... It is the Iron Eagle. Their coach is AP physics teacher Wendy Stallings. They spent several of their breaks building or rebuilding the robot. We do a little bit of class time, but they also put in a lot of time outside of class. The foursome had never built a robot in their life until this school year. To learn, each student took an online computer programming course on how to build a robot back in September. And the motor spins it, and it allows us to intake the balls by catching it. Six months later, this right here is our six bar lift. It uses a set of gear ratios in order to lift the cage up. They found themselves in the regionals. This little USB stick is how we um, talk to the controller. At the VEX Robotics Competition in Nashville. We arrived at the regionals. We're like, you know, we're going to do our best. And when we started competing, and we're, we're like, we actually have a chance. Well, the BA Robotics team ended up winning the whole thing in their first year of competing and also got an award for best design. They were the only team from Williamson County in the competition. And the guys on the team were excellent. They worked really hard. They've been working since September, uh, learning how to computer program, um, building the robot, rebuilding the robot, designing, redesigning, testing. So it's a testament to their hard work. At the regionals, the goal was to build a robot that would pick up these balls get across an obstacle course that included bumps and rails, and eventually get them into these tubes on the other side. Well, the robot has to fit within an 18 by 18 by 18 inch uh, box, kind of, and just being able to build it within that, and having everything fit and still work is a pretty difficult thing to do. It's not just about building a robot, it's also about, you know, building teamwork. And we had to learn, you know, not only to work with the robot, but, you know, how to, you know, connect with one another and assign each other jobs and, you know, stick with those jobs during the competition. All of them are pursuing fields in mechanical engineering and computer programming at top name schools like Princeton, Notre Dame and Georgia Tech. The future is bright when you look at these young men, although you can't help but notice there is one thing missing. Where are the girls? <laughs> I think it I think it intimidates them honestly I think I just think they got too scared a little bit so <laughs> wait a minute is this a boys only club here I mean, I, mean I, I tried to recruit some girls but they were just like nah I don't think so the Fab Four will take part in the state competition on Saturday March 1st at McGavick High School in Nashville with hopes of moving on to the nationals and internationals in Brentwood Nick Perangipe Williamson Source